Hey VC, what's up? It's me, yours truly. I'm back to post a quick video here. And actually, this is a video that's going to be directed to uh, Dave, Let There Be Vinyl. Because this is this is was kind of a uh, somewhat of a Twilight Zone type of moment that is taking place. I, I recently did a response to his his uh, almost 300 subscribers video, and you know he was asking us to tell him why we enjoy his channel or kind of what brought us or kept keeps keeps us at his channel. And I talked about how I got hooked on his channel through ACDC, and he introduced me to to uh, Airborne and you know all that good stuff and how you know how we click there and everything and then he also had a question in his video about uh, a VC member that had a big issue with him and just hasn't hadn't talked to him in a year and been ignoring all of his messages and all his PMs and everything else and he just kinda wanted to know like you know what did I do to piss you off and on and on and I did a response in my video and kinda gave him some advice about you know I wouldn't necessarily take it personally until you actually hear back from the person because you never know what's going on in their life. They could just be busy. They just could have had a baby or whatever. And, you know, you just kind of never know what's going on. Sometimes they're in the VC for a while, then they're out. So just kind of take it with a grain of salt. And, you know, unless the person says something to you directly, no one in the VC, you know, just really just gets angry at someone just in general. And I gave a bunch of advice on that. Well, he sent me a message back today. And I mean, completely and totally to my surprise, I was the person that he said had been ignoring all of his messages and everything. And uh, and when I first saw it, his response, I went back and read it a couple times thinking, oh, maybe he posted this to the wrong person or sent it, you know. But then he was making comments about what I said in my video. And so it completely blew my mind because I've, I don't ignore anyone's comments in that regard. Uh, whenever I do respond, well, again, this is kind of like on a Twilight Zone type of thing, because I'm thinking, I've never ignored his his uh, post. Like, the, the, there's nobody in the VC that I go, I don't like them, I'm not going to, like, that never happens. And so it freaked me out to the point of going like, whoa, what is going on? That, uh, oh, and then he also said that I, I told my video that you know he had switched his channel because he had some issues with Google Plus, so he had the new channel. And I was like, "Oh, great! To find your new channel, I just sub, which made me your 300 subscriber. That's awesome." And then he said, "Well, thanks for unsubscribing to my channel." And sure enough, I mean, I never went in and hit an unsubscribe button, never went back to your channel to do anything like that whatsoever. But sure as crap, after I read your message, I went back to your channel, and the button up there said "subscribe," as if I had not subscribed. So there's something really, really weird going on here. And uh, I mean, I tell you, Dave, it bothered me to the point to where typically when I respond to most of my comments, I don't go to my videos. I go to my channel and then go into the, you know, where you can click on messages or comments and it kind of brings up all your history. So I usually just kind of go in there and all the comments from different videos, I just kind of go down the line. So all of my history is still there. And this was like bugging me so much that I've spent the last, I don't know, 30 minutes or plus whatever, I've looked back over the last six months of all of my comment history. I mean, it's just like how much this was freaking me out. And it's really weird because, number one, I subscribed to your channel the other day and it's showing now that I'm not subscribed, just like you said. And then I went back and looked at, or I did that six month search and I found two comments from you over that over that six months. And from the way you were describing it, you've been making a bunch of comments and chiming in on my videos that you said I hadn't been responding to. But I only found two in my history, which is really weird. And actually, let me kind of, because I, I really want you to know that I wasn't ignoring you. <laughs> so I, I have a couple different windows open up. I found this one here. Again, I went back seven months, actually. But I found this one here four months ago that said, um, you know, you said you really don't like box sets, you're more of an individual item collector, um, you know, like buying original CDs. And then, you know, we're talking about being excited about rock or bus coming out in a month. And, uh, and then after that, I put, I know what you mean about a year or so ago. Sorry, I'm going to get on folks there. About a year or so ago, I only owned two box sets. Now I'm pushing 100. LOL, Robert Z's to blame. He totally got me hooked on him. Um, 
And then I talk about how I label some different artists, uh, folks on, on collecting studio album dis discographies. And uh, I said, I tend to get greedy and want them all. Ha ha ha. Thanks for stopping by. And then that was that was the, the response to that four months ago. And then actually, let me keep you over here. And then the only other comment I found was this one from one month ago where you said, uh, how are you, buddy? Loving how your music room's coming along. Just watch your recent video, wondering if, if your old copy of Led Zeppelin III is an original. I know you're in the box sets. I have an Aussie box set I don't really need. Um, would you like to open, or are you open for trade? Let me know. And then I said, uh, hey man, sorry it took a couple of days to get back to you. I actually picked up that Aussie set uh, a couple months ago. Haven't shown it in a box set series yet, LOL. Uh, it, it's a really cool set though. And then have a smiley face there at the end. And those are the only two messages of any kind that I show uh, on my channel, on any of my videos from you over the past, I, th I, think, I think I'm on the way to seven months. So if you have been commenting and leaving, you know, comments or PMs or because one's on a PM and one's on just a regular comment thread, that stuff has not been getting to me because the only two that that came across, as you kind of saw there, I responded to both of them. So I'm not sure what's going on with that, especially the unsubscribe thing. That's really weird, too. Um, I'm not sure how just two or three days ago I subscribed. And then I'm showing up as unsubscribed right now. So um, the only thing I can think of, and I haven't checked this yet, and I mentioned it in the comment that I left, is I know that on, on video sometimes you get that little box where it's kind of like, I guess it's set up for spam or whatever. And I know sometimes people's comments can get looped into that little box. And if you don't go open it and approve the, the comment, it won't show up on the thread in your video. And I, I never go to that little box. I mean, I pretty much just kind of, I don't even see it really anymore. So I don't know if a lot of these comments that you sent over somehow got locked in there or something like that. But uh, the thing that's even stranger though, really, is the unsubscribe thing. That, that's, that's really, really weird. Um, so yeah, man, I, Again, it's, it's, it's just it's just a total Twilight Zone type of thing. Because, again, if you go back and watch my video response to your contest, you know, I'm talking about how to approach this problem with this person, you know, and as I even said in the video, it's like, well, I have no idea who the person is or exactly, you know, what the circumstances are, but this is the general advice I could give you. Uh, <laughs> you know, just saying, like, wait to hear from the person. You know, I'm sure they probably have a good reason for sharing what. And like that whole time he was talking about me. And it's, it's very, very strange. So uh, anyway, Dave, kind of work with me on this, maybe to help me figure out what's going on. Because, again, according. Again, I mean, that, that's really all I can say there is two PMs or two messages over the past seven months. And I'm not seeing all the other ones you're talking about. And I responded to both. And maybe it's the other way around. Maybe maybe you're not getting mine. So let me know if either one of those messages I read back to you, if they ring a bell in any way. Um, if you remember me responding about the Aussie, the Aussie set, or remember that other comment that I just read off to you as well. And let's kind of just kind of figure out what's going on. I think the um, the one with the Aussie was. Yeah, it says shared privately, so that would have been through a PM. The other, the first one that I read off, that was one that was done through regular comment. Okay, so so yeah, like I said, help me figure out what's going on there because, dude, I'm not ignoring you by any stretch of the imagination. Um, everything I said about why I was attracted to your channel and you know the way we connected on the whole ACDC thing and even talking about the bands that I would learned about from your channel and all of that, I mean, that's just it does all true so very strange I wish I had like some Twilight Zone music that could kick in but uh, yeah get back to me and let me know and if you don't hear back from me even do a video or something to let me know if you found anything on your end but I think the thing I'm most curious about right now is let me know if you received either of those messages that I just read off that were in response to yours alright so uh, 
thanks for bearing with me this VC so I can kind of communicate with Dave here and uh, we will talk to you soon. And if anyone in the VC kind of knows or had any type of similar issue with that, sh you know, shoot me a message down below and let me know as well. All right. Thanks, guys.